Doesn't seem right. What good is an Amiga CD32 without a working CD drive? As you can see, the disc is not spinning. Even if you keep an eye on the laser as I close the lid, hopefully you can see this. The laser doesn't even try to seek for a disc. So something is wrong. It isn't a fault with the laser, it's a fault with the ribbon cable. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to tear this down and we're going to replace the ribbon. What's so interesting about that? I hear you say, well, the ribbon cables on the CD32 are like hen's teeth. You cannot find them. We are going to be making our own. This is the culprit here. Just pull it out and again pull it out from here. So what is so special about the ribbon cable on the CD32 that you can't get them? Well, it's nothing to do with the pitch or the size of it. It's the fact that uh, it's double sided. So it goes from this side through to this side. And any of the ribbon cables you buy, like these ones here available from RS Components, they are same sided. This cable here is the same size as the original one, just a bit longer. So what we need to do is cut it, cut it down to size and have to scrape off the material on one side and that will make our new ribbon cable. Okay so to make one of these all you need is your new ribbon cable, your old CD32 ribbon cable to measure from, something to lean on, a pair of scissors and a nice sharp screwdriver. If you can't find a sharp screwdriver like some sharp kitchen knife will do, but uh, please just be very careful. So the first thing we need to do is trim this down to size. You just can't use it at this size. I have tried it and you will get lots of readers. Uh, some discs won't even spin. Some will just spin and not load anything. Others will load eventually, but take forever. So you do need to cut it down to size. Now you can make it slightly longer. I'm gonna go for probably something about that. And try to get your cut as straight as possible, obviously. Don't throw this bit away yet. We're going to need it later. All right, so all we need to do is make a ribbon cable to go from this side to this side. So it's Take your really sharp screwdriver or your sharp knife and you just need to scrape off this uh, white plastic coating. that's what you want to achieve for each of these. Now do not be tempted to uh, score your knife across this to try and create a line to work from. If you do that you're going to risk damaging these, cutting these. So uh, it doesn't look the neatest but the easiest way to do it I find is just take your time and scrape all this off. There we have it, 
that's it all exposed it doesn't look the best but not to worry it will work that's all you want now this other bit here you want to peel off this uh, yellow strip here it's just a bit of plastic that stiffens it and we can stick it on here Just trimming that a wee bit because I didn't put it on exactly straight. Right, that should be it. Let's get it in our console and uh, see if it works. So to fit this, we're going to have to remove the CD drive. Very easy to do, it's just four screws. Now I'll just lift away. Right, so what we're going to do is take the side that we have butchered and we're going to put it into this part of the drive. So it goes in like so, with the yellow bit facing up. That's it. And you need that stiffener on there just to give a nice tight fit. So that should be it. Let's put our drive back in. Do not over tighten these screws, you just want to nip them up, you are screwing in the plastic here and you do not want to strip it. Right, that's the drive back in. So again the ribbon cable going in here, we'll insert with the yellow bit towards the outside of the case. it don't forget to reconnect this wire for your front panel right Let's test it. Okay, when we first part on now, you just get a slight wobble out of the laser lens, and that's what you would expect. So let's try our game. Is the disc going to spin? And away it goes. Happy days. Let's see if the game will actually load. Seems to be loading fine. I suppose that means I'll have to actually play Microcosm now. Hideous game that it is. 
Well, that's all for this time, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up. Why not consider subscribing? And uh, I'll see you next time.